with us. This is why we have approximately 22 different body types on the planet. Now what I'm talking about body types, different physical and genetic and chemical structure, structural makeups on the, on the planet. There are 22. This is why we have so many different races that have different physical features. Now, because of this manipulation, what's happened is that we, as a planetary race, have become this, like Heinz 57. We have inside of us the genetic as well as racial memories of at least 22 different extraterrestrial races. Which means that we can physically bond or um, give birth or create with almost any specific species out there with exception of the greys. Well, actually, to some degree, we can with the greys and the insectoid races. We can't mate with them. But we can with almost any other form, including reptilian. Just a few alterations in our DNA and it's done. We're the only ones. Now, this is also the only planet in our galaxy where you have so many different races together. Now what's happened, and I'll give the example of Andromeda. The Andromedans are a human race, but they have been so pure, so clean in their DNA, in their genetic melding with, with the same race, that they are now starting to see signs of genetic breakup. In other words, the line is starting to show some genetic weakness. The Pleiades will experience this in a million years. They will start to see it. The Greys are already experiencing it. And there are other races as well, primarily human races, where this is happening, where the genetic material is starting to break down because of so much interbreeding within the same race, the same family. Follow me so far? There's only one race that can add this genetic boost, the new genetic material, to help them, and it's us. But they can't use our DNA, they can't use our physical structures because of our consciousness. We vibrate at such a low level. They can't use it. Plus, they just can't come down here and steal it like the Grace did, because it's a violation of free will, which is the number one law. Do not violate free will. Number two, do not interfere or intervene with an evolving race unless you are asked. Of course, we have been. We have been for the last 5,000 years. Majorly manipulated as a planetary race. So, this is why there's so much attention here. Now, the, the negatives, the negative forces, and I include the world government in this, are doing everything they can to keep us down keep us negative, to keep us divided, warring with each other, all of that. They're doing an excellent job. The benevolent ones, however, want us to come together as a race. They want us to move into an unconditional love or an unconditional responsibility space. But they have to do it in such a way that we think it's our idea. Because they can't violate our free will. So everybody follow that so far? So it's a hell of a situation. It's really complicated. I wish I could say it's, it's black and white, and there it is, but it isn't. It's a very complicated thing. Now, because of the gray intervention, and because our government, basically the secret government, sold us out, it has forced all of us to evolve now, instead of on a planetary level, on an individual level. <coughs> where each one, has got, each one of us has to go inside and we have to look at ourselves and say, who the hell am I? What am I doing with my life? Is this really what I want to do? Am I really happy with all this? And these are tough, tough questions. Any questions so far? Okay, now. The Andromedans look at the fact that we are the sum total of 22 extraterrestrial races. They also look at the idea that we are spirit. 